Africa by David Diop. Africa, my Africa, Africa of proud warriors and ancestral savannas, Africa of whom my grandmother sings, the distant river. I've never known you, but your blood flows in my veins, your beautiful black blood that irrigates the fields, the blood of your sweat, the sweat of your work, the work of your slavery. Africa, tell me, Africa, is this your back that is bent? This back that breaks under the weight of humiliation. This back trembling with red scares and saying yes to the whip under the midday sun. But a grave voice answers me. Impetuous child, that tree, young and strong, that tree over there, splendidly alone amidst white and faded flowers. That is your Africa springing up anew, springing up patiently, obstinately, whose fruits bit by bit acquires the bitter taste of liberty. Whose fruit bit by bit acquires the bitter taste of liberty. One of my all-time favorite is titled Richard Corey. It was written by a gentleman named Edwin Allington Robinson. The year was 1897. And it goes like this. Whenever Richard Corey went downtown, we people on the pavement looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown, clean favored and imperially slim. And he was always quietly arrayed. He was always human when he talked, but still he fluttered pulses when he says good morning and glittered when he walked. He was rich, yes, he was richer than a king and admirably schooled in every grace. In fact, we thought it was everything that made us wish we were in his place. And so we walked and waited for the light. We went without the meat and caused the breath. But Richard Corey, one bright summer evening, went home and put a bullet through his head. What a sad ending. I'm here today to read to you a poem by William Carlos Williams and his titled The Red Wheel Barrel. So much depends upon a red wheel barrel. Glaze with rain water beside the white chickens. <laughs> 